For decades, physicians have understood the power of blood transfusions in correcting physiologic abnormalities associated with anemia and their life-saving potential in actively bleeding patients in cardiac and non-cardiac surgery. Although today, blood supplies are the safest they've ever been, blood transfusion remains a controversial practice that exposes recipients to serious and unpredictable adverse events. In order to reduce allogeneic transfusions and associated risks, hospitals are developing patient blood management strategies. These aim to optimize the patient's own red cell mass and coagulation status to minimize blood loss and manage anemia. One particularly notable therapy available to minimize intraoperative blood loss is washed autotransfusion, consisting of the collection, concentration, washing, and reinfusion of the patient's own blood. Washed autotransfusion is well established in many types of surgery and regularly used in hospitals worldwide. However, despite its benefits in reducing allogeneic transfusion and improving patient outcome in cardiac and non-cardiac applications, it hasn't yet been universally adopted. In cardiac surgery, for example, clinicians may choose other techniques that can limit or overshadow the role of autotransfusion. At the same time, new minimally invasive approaches and antifibrinolytic drugs are reducing intraoperative bleeding in non-cardiac surgery, minimizing the recourse to washed autotransfusion in the OR. So what roles does washed autotransfusion ultimately have in today's patient blood management approach, and what benefit can this technique really deliver? A recent network meta-analysis aiming to determine the most effective therapy or combination of therapies in cardiac surgery, has concluded that washed autotransfusion becomes the most effective active strategy when used in combination with antifibrinolytics. Statistically, this reduces the odds of transfusion by at least 64% and the number of RBC bags transfused by one unit when compared to the adoption of unwashed cell salvage or ultrafiltration. As a consequence, replacing washed autotransfusion with any other autologous techniques or failing to coordinate antifibrinolytic treatment will increase the recourse to banked blood. Also, in major non-cardiac procedures like vascular, orthopedics, and obstetrics, this technique makes patient safety and economic sense as well. Another meta-analysis shows that in these settings, washed autotransfusion reduces the risk of exposure to allogeneic transfusions by as much as 51%, reduces the number of RBC bags transfused by one unit, and also reduces the patient length of stay by a full day. Washed autotransfusion in both cardiac and non-cardiac applications can make a significant contribution to reducing patient morbidity. Additionally, it can greatly reduce the use of allogeneic blood and hospital costs, whether as the sole source for blood conservation or in combination with other active strategies to minimize perioperative bleeding. This is why the adoption of a washed autotransfusion system should be considered as a key strategy to guarantee patient safety and as an essential resource of your patient blood management program. To discover how Extra, Livanova's extraordinarily innovative, intuitive, and powerful autotransfusion system is ready to meet your patient blood management needs, visit livanova.com.